Hi guys, it's Maaike. I'm back with the Create a Smile Advent Calendar number 12. Dear Creating. Yeah, look away now if you don't want to see it. <laughs> so, in uh, Peggy number 12, we're halfway, by the way. I hope you're enjoying this series. <laughs> I am. And uh, of course, the website uh, Create a Smile is linked down below. And also, it's all in a playlist in case you want to go back and see them. And uh, yeah, Dear Creating. There's a candle that the deer could hold in his hand, paw, claw, hoof, hmm, I don't know, <laughs> hoof, I think, doesn't matter. But um, I colored two off screen because I wanted to use more than one and I, I gave one red nose so I wouldn't forget to uh, do that. And I also started on his scarf by accident, so that would be green. And at first I wanted to combine them with um, baggy number six, Santa is coming, but it's, it's a bit full, especially with the decorating. <laughs> so I'm sticking to three because that's nice, five mm, mm, yeah, didn't fit, four might have, but three is better. And I'm using my Spectrum Noirs just for change. You can use any marker that you have, of course. I, I, I pull them closer to my desk now, I can actually access them easy. Um, before I was too lazy to get up and only <laughs> had my copics on my desk, so that's why. But I'm also showing you, you can use different color families and mix them up. Easy. And the, um, the way I like to work, of course, is, is first putting down a base layer and wet paper. That helps with the blending, for sure. But when the areas are really small, like the hoofs and the antlers, I just do the darkest one and fade it out with the lighter one. Because, you know, if you oversaturate your area or paper, then you get some bleeding. And, you know, you don't want that. <laughs> <coughs> At least I wouldn't want that. And yeah, you can see I'm using quite a few different color families just to show you, don't be scared. Just look at your color chart, look on Pinterest or the internet and you will find many color combinations that people already tried and tested. So you don't have to reinvent the view, of course you can if you want, but yeah. I started with the green and I thought, oh no, <laughs> if I don't pay attention, I will have colored them all free off camera. I have to start again. But uh, this is also here, light green and jade green together. They work, see? Nice blend. It's, this is actually my favorite green combo, and I don't have this green in Copics, which is why I kind of pulled out my Spectrum Noirs in the first place. Did a light. You can give them rosy cheeks if you want. I didn't, because... <laughs> yeah, it looks weird on p things with fur. Of course, they're not real deer, so that doesn't matter. So I also pulled out two stencils from Create a Smile. This is Snow Dance, and this is the huge polka dots. And my idea that I <coughs> concocted up in my head was to make polka dots and have the snow flakes kind of inside the polka dots. But uh, the big one I like, the dainty one, doesn't fit. <laughs> so mm, there goes your idea. You know, you can think about it in your head as much as you want until you start filming. And you know, it doesn't work. So I, s I changed tactics. But I'm still using Tumble Glass for my polka dots. And of course you can just use the one or the other. Uh, you know, polka dots, they might look a little bit weird. And I have um, a stencil with snowflakes from the winter kit from oh, I think it's five years ago it's still available by the way or again um, but those are very very straight and symmetric I didn't like that too much but what I decided to do is just take off this one because they don't fit and then go outside to polka dots I mask off the one snowflake I like plus a few small dots for the whimsical feel and uh, yeah, I like how it turned out. And I'm just randomly 
ink blending. Not all of them, just a few here and there. And then adding some more <coughs> dots just to fill up the spaces. And I used tumble glass on the polka dots. I'm not sure if I said that. And Mermaid Lagoon now. Just really contrasty, but also same color. Just nice, light and dark. <coughs> so I can't remember what I said because this is the first time I do the voiceover. <laughs> and um, are you looking forward to the Christmas? Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Um, I will have filmed 24, I'm, I'm halfway now. And I, I might be really fed up with Christmas by then. <laughs> uh, while my mom was still alive, uh, she passed five years ago, you might know. Uh, we would switch days. One, uh, I would go to her and then the other was she would come to me. Or the other way around, it didn't really matter. But that was two days spent. But now uh, I'll just spend it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go to my friend's house and he's cooking for me uh, for my birthday, which is exactly a week before Christmas. And um, yeah, I, I don't think uh, I want to bother him again. So I want this one I wanted to show you. It's a new release. It's not part of the advent calendar, but it says let's have a party. Or in German, für das Geburtstagskind. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. Für das Ugh. Yeah, the, I'm not very good at German. I looked at it online because I was looking for the stencil. I, I think it's so funny. Let's have a farty. Hmm. And this sentiment is from Season's Greetings. I've used that before. And then just some verse of Claire. Now, I um, thought I'll do them straight. But the reindeer on an angle, like the dancing or jumping, that would have been nice as well. Or even on wobblers, but yeah, I didn't think of it. So I might have to remedy that in future tuition <laughs> baggies. Um, depending on what's in there, of course, that uh, may or may not fit. And there's a sentiment from Clearly Besotte that says, it's a season to prance, or let's prance is the set. And that would also be really fun. But yeah, they're straight, so. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Until then, bye.